So you lived in Acapulco. Mm-hmm. What? How did you find that experience? Because a lot of people, I guess, who live in the US or Canada or wherever, they see Mexico as, okay, you know, this is the place to be because there's a lot more freedom. Uh, the government doesn't have as much control in those areas. What is your, from someone who's lived there and has now moved to the US mm-hmm. back again, what's what's your experience been, A, living in Mexico and B, moving back? And what was the reason for moving back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, the way I got down there, I, I moved to, um, it was kind of 2018 was a really sporadic year. I, I, I made a random move, right, random decision to move to Austin, Texas to, uh, to move in with my co-host of the, the Vani podcast at that time. Um, so I moved in with him for a couple months and then he had a quick change of living situation and I had to find a new place to live in Austin, Texas, which is super effing expensive, um, you know, very quickly. So um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And one of my buddies, uh, Jason Henza, reached out to me and said, hey, I'll be you know, stopping by Austin. Um, I can pick you up and you can come stay in Acapulco for, you know, come stay with me in Acapulco for a month and a half or a couple months and, um, you know, see how you like it. Because he, he kind of saw it as a second realm, right? So um, he wanted me to experience it. So I went there for um, yeah, a month and a half. We lived, um, we didn't live in, I guess, in Acapulco proper, but we lived uh, down, I guess, down the road in, uh, in a town called Bonfil. Um, and, you know, block away from the beach, it was, you know, I guess that part of it was just, it was, it was, it was incredible, obviously, relaxing uh, and invigorating. And, um, you know, going to the, the central market, which is, you know, a lot more gorgeous than anything you see. I mean, you see dead carcasses, dead animal carcasses hang up. You can go, you know, get a whole cow if you, or, you know, get a whole lamb if you want to or whatever, which you don't see in the, in the States. So that was, you know, that was certainly unique. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I guess I won't mention those two, those those couple things. But um, I guess the the interactions with 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 coercers, bludgies down there are a lot different than ones in the U.S. Um, so if you get pulled over, a lot of times you can pay a cheap bribe and get away, you know, without any without yeah. any issue. And in some cases, you can even run away and they don't even chase after you and they won't even do anything. So. Um, I guess like so. So I guess that's that's one thing. We 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 came across a a toll booth, and uh, like they had the normal toll toll booth workers in there, you know, in the booths. But I guess the local cartel had taken over the toll booth, and they were charging like a fourth less than what the the toll booth was charging. So they 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 were standing in front of the toll booth taking the money, and then the cops were on the other side watching it happen, and um, well, just letting the cars yeah. through. So I mean, it's yeah, you know, obviously like. Yeah, armed cartel members, but they're saving us money on the, the tolls. So, I mean, take it for what take it for what you will. Um, and then I guess the the reason I came back was I came back for the holidays um, to to spend uh, spend time with my family. And um, I was going to go back for um, Intercapulco, which was happening in February. But in like it was like February first of twenty nineteen, a couple of people that I, you know, friends of mine and Henza's, um, John and Lily. Um, up in Acapulco, which I'm sure you heard about, it was on mainstream, you know, national news at that time. They had uh, uh, they had someone, you know, shoot up at their house, and John and John got shot and killed, and Henza got shot and luckily survived. But uh, <clears throat> so after that, I kind of decided I, I wasn't going to go back for Acapulco that quickly because I was um, Henza and, and I were at that place, you know, where that happened, um, you know, multiple times a week. Um, a yeah. lot. So if I would have been Acapulco, I probably would have been there with him. So I kind of, I really didn't have, um, I'm not, I'm not really afraid to go back, I guess, per se, but I really just don't have any motivation. There's, I, I don't really have time to travel at this point. Um, you know, managing the homestead and getting, you know, trying to get this, this network set up. But, uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the reason in my, my, I guess the, the conclusion, or I guess my, my overall view now is, I mean, it's, it's just like Vani, like it's radical self-liberation, right? So if you're, gonna, if, the, if you're a radical freedom pioneer, you can find a lot of opportunities um, in Mexico. But you just have to be aware that, you know, there are obviously dangers that come with it too, as you know, everything does, right? Um, trade-offs. So as um, I know, like Henza, Henza still spends six months in Mexico, so it didn't scare him away. Um, he obviously doesn't live in Acapulco, which Acapulco is, it's funny because you hear from a lot of like uh, anarchists that like, oh, it's this, you know, hub of freedom. It was a police state, essentially. So, um, like Acapulco itself. So, um, we never had any issues in, in, in that, you know, Acapulco, but um, with them. But uh, Mexico City, Mexico City cops will um, try to extort you if you, if you look white. Um, just just so you know, if anyone was going through Mexico, so we got pulled over twice in Mexico City within like five minutes um, by different cops. It was crazy. Wow. But um, anyway, I guess that's the wow. that's the, the long and short of it. So I guess just one one final thing um, to tie up that last conversation. If people are interested more in the story. It actually came out on an HBO H, HBO series called The Anarchist. So if you want to hear that entire story um, and a lot about the anarchist community on there, you can actually go watch it on HBO, um, which is strange. 